What's up, guys? Today, I want to take a look at a music NFT site called Mint Songs. Now, I discovered Mint Songs back at the beginning of 2022, but have just recently started uh, updating it more with new content and creating more NFTs of my music. So today, I figured we would dig into the platform, take a look at kind of what's what around the site, and mint a brand new NFT of my new release that comes out tomorrow. Now, if you're new here, my name's Tom, and on this channel, we talk about music marketing, branding, NFTs, and more. Everything we need to know to move from making music as a hobby to making music as a business. And today, we're going to dig into Mint Songs. Now, as I said in the intro of this video, I discovered Mint Songs a few months ago, but started playing around with other NFT sites and sort of left it by the wayside. I've since rediscovered Mint Songs and have started playing with it a bit more, going so far as to uh, mint new songs, <laughs> nailed it, of my music on the site. And today I wanted to make a video sort of documenting what the site's about, what it looks like, and create a brand new NFT of my upcoming song, uh, We Can Run. I will say up front, this video isn't sponsored. I'm just making it because I think the site is dope and I enjoy using it. I think the user interface is good. And I think it has something to offer for those who want to transact kind of on Ethereum, but without being on the Ethereum mainnet, Mint Songs is built on top of Polygon, which is a side chain of Ethereum, which means you get access to the whole like Ethereum infrastructure, but without all the fees. Huge plus for those of us who don't want to spend a bunch of money in gas fees to make our NFTs. Anyway, all that to say, let's dig into the site and uh, see what's what. When you first land on the Mint Songs homepage, you can see pretty quickly that it's all about music. That's the only thing that you can put on here, although they are sort of developing some new music-related NFT products that aren't just music, which we'll get into in a minute. I want to start at the top right of the screen, which is my profile here. So if I click my picture, you can see my wallet's already connected. I've got some wrapped ETH because I've sold an NFT. Go team. Uh, and then I've got some Matic to pay for some stuff, which uh, actually is not going to matter when minting anything here because every time I mint a new NFT, it doesn't cost any gas fees because it's on Polygon, which is awesome. We'll go to my profile first. So you can see what I've put together here. So here's my profile. You can see I've added a header. Uh, I've got uh, my profile picture here. Got my Twitter connected, my website. And then I've got a brief bio. And then these are the NFTs that I have minted so far. I've got an NFT for my song Shade to the wolves when we were young and then must be dreaming these four songs along with the fifth song that we're going to be minting today we can run make up the first ep of the two eps that i'm waterfall releasing this year the first one is called dark so we're going to upload the fifth song from the dark ep and put it here on mint songs to be available for purchase but before we dig into that i'll show you just a little bit more you can go to the top right here and go to your settings. And this is how you update all your information. You change your image, you add your name, your bio and all that stuff. And then also you have this really cool thing uh, called your dashboard. And your dashboard is like your overhead, your heads up display, right? Of what's going on. You can see I've only sold one NFT. Hopefully that'll change soon. Uh, I've created 40 total because I've made four NFTs with 10 editions each and one owner has bought my NFTs. There's also this thing called posters. Now, I don't have any posters. It's something you have to apply for, but that's the sort of like music-related, non-music NFT thing that I was talking about earlier that they are testing and expanding into. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet, but I do plan to test the poster feature at some point because uh, I think it would be cool to try. Uh, you can get to that here from the right-hand menu as well. Just go to Create Poster, and it's going to take you to this form where you have to fill out a submission to you know, apply to make a poster basically. So we'll go back to Mint Songs here. We'll go back to my profile. And even though there's a thousand ways to get there, we are going to go to the top right, click this create button to make a brand new music NFT. You can also get there from here, create a song, and you can go back to your dashboard and create a song there. But we'll go to this create button in the top right. So here's where we make a new NFT. So this NFT is called we can run. We're going to make 10 of this NFT. And then we're going to add a brief description here. We can run is the fifth track from my debut album, Dark Light. And then we'll click next. So now we've got to upload our cover art and our music file. So the first thing we'll do is our cover art. I've got a JPEG here. Uh, we can run. So here's the cover art. And then we will upload uh, our music file. In this case, I'm going to upload an mp3. I tested this out before making this video. I don't know what the limitations are for file size, but I will say that I did try to upload 
an image for my cover art that was substantially bigger than this one. It was like nine megabytes and it wouldn't go through. This one's about three and it worked. I tried to upload a WAV file for my audio file and that would not work, but MP3 has worked fine every time. I don't know what the file size limitations are, but they are there somehow. Uh, and that's what happened with me. So now you know. So now that our files are uploaded, we will type in our price. In this case, I'm gonna go 0 0.0015 wrapped ETH. Now this is calculated in ether, uh, but it's wrapped ether because it's on Polygon. So now that we've got the price set and everything's uploaded, we'll go to preview. And this preview screen is sort of our final, like, you know, make sure it's right area, which is common if you've ever minted an NFT, music or not, anywhere, you're kind of used to this screen, right? So you're gonna go through the details and make sure everything is as you want it to be. So our price is 0 0.0015 wrapped ETH which uh, is about $4.61 at the time of the filming of this video. We all know that'll fluctuate. <laughs> uh, then we've got the description we can run. It's the fifth track from my debut album, Dark Light. I've got 10 of 10 editions available. And then uh, sort of some, you know, language here. If uploading to IPFS takes longer than 15 minutes, you can troubleshoot. And please make sure your song information is correct. You cannot undo or edit song information, files, or cover art once you mint. So everything's good to go. We're going to click mint and we should get a confirmation pretty quickly that our song has been minted and it is now an NFT. So here we go. Uh, successfully minted. Nice work. Your recently minted song is now for sale on your profile. Here is the NFT of We Can Run. It's so pretty. Isn't it so pretty? Uh, and if we go to my profile, we can see it alongside all of my other NFTs. So We've got all five NFTs here. There are 10 editions of each and they are all available for 0 0.0015 wrapped ether, except for shade. There's one edition that has been sold of that. So collect all five, as they used to say in commercials in the nineties. I don't know, maybe they still say that. I don't watch kids commercials anymore, but go to Mint Songs and check out these NFTs and test the site if you want to as well. So that is a brief rundown of Mint Songs, uh, a music NFT site that I am actually really liking a lot at this point. I posted a video that mentioned Mint Songs some time ago and actually was able to connect with uh, the CEO of Mint Songs, Dwight, after that video came out and just chat with him a little bit about the site and what they have planned and uh, got to know him a little bit. Super nice dude. They seem to have a really cool vision for what they're trying to build and they seem super passionate about music and creating a product that helps musicians. So if you've watched any of my videos on NFTs in the past, you know that I'm a big advocate for music NFTs. I think that they're an important step forward for artists to monetize what they do. And Mint Songs is a site that is doing a great job of trying to bring that vision to life based on my estimation. And on top of that, it's clean, it's a good looking site, it's easy to use, and hopefully uh, you will sign up for it and enjoy using it as much as I have. Now, before I let you go, there is a link in the description of this video to go to my profile on Mint Songs. If you want to support my work as an artist, uh, I would really appreciate that. You can also find it by going here. Also, if you don't subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And at the end here, got a couple more videos you can check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.